Greetings viewers, and welcome to, well, a sort of mini-series I'm going to be doing for a few days. It'll be about two or three episodes, I'm guessing. Not every day, it'll be, you know, over a week or so. And uh, it's basically for a different kind of Pokemon game. This is a fan-made game, uh, but it is pretty cool. And we're just going to be playing through it, and I'm going to be reading the backstory in just a second, but I'll leave some links. Um, it's a 30-minute demo or so you can uh, play of the game so far. So not a huge amount, but enough probably to stretch out two or three episodes. Uh, about 15 minutes because we have some. This was an awesome game. There's loads of new stuff added. It's not just a Pokemon ROM hack. It is a whole different game almost. We'll see. Anyway, first before we do that, we'll just read quickly the sort of the, the story behind this game. And here we go. It's Pokemon Ivoas. One by one, the minds of Pokemon trainers all over the Goddard region are being corrupted. The source is Meloetta. He uses her alluring voice to hypnotize strong trainers into becoming her personal allies. These newly infected trainers are ruthless and will not hesitate to kill other trainers' Pokemon in battle. No Pokemon or trainer is able to res resist Meloetta's power. Nobody except you, that is. The game begins with your triumph over your home region's champion. Just before you've entered into the Hall of Fame, however, the Pokemon League is overrun by Meloetta and her band of corrupt Pokemon. Amid the chaos, your winning team is stolen, leaving you defenseless. But Meloetta, intrigued by her inability to hypnotize you, keeps you alive. The encounter ends abruptly when a shadowy void appears out of nowhere, sucking you and everything around you in. Later, you awake on a beach in the foreign region of Goodell. With the help of an aspirant Pokemon professor and a perky self proclaimed rival, you begin a new journey. Only this time, though no gym badges to collect, no tournaments to win, you've taken it upon yourself to end the mysterious and sorry, explore the mysterious region of Goodell and put an end to Menowetta's schemes and reclaim your old companions. So guys, that's the story behind Pokemon Evoas. As I said, it's a 30 minute preview slash demo at the moment, so it's not like, you know, it's not a whole game, but eventually obviously it will be released as a whole game, I'm hoping. You can see on the on the title screen, it's only Pokemon version 0.0.0.0.0.3, yeah, so on. Um, there are 25 Pokemon in it, 51 moves, and 17 maps. So not a huge, you know, not a huge game, but it's pretty cool so far. I've only played a bit of it so far, so, um, We'll just see where we go. Shall we start, I guess? Press Z to advance messages. Obviously, we will do that. Once I click on the application again. Well, that's quite a story. You know, nobody is going to believe you, right? To be honest, I'm not quite sure I believe you either. And yet I do. In part because I can't think of any another reason why the Pokemon Champion of a foreign region would show up to my humble laboratory. Uh, what was your name again? It was... Integral! Can I put with one? That'd be cool if I could. Ah, doesn't fit. Okay, integral will be fine. It's integral, isn't it? It is! I just forgot. Temporarily. Are you a boy? Or are you a girl? I'm a boy. I was thinking about going Callum, but no. Well, of course you're male. Anybody can see that. No need to tell me. So according to you, a corrupt Meloetta is using her alluring voice to hypnotize strong trainers and Pokemon into becoming her personal allies? Infecting them, I suppose that's another way to put it. And your team got infected, huh? Sorry for your um, loss. Well, what I mean is... <sighs> Tell you what, I have three Pokemon in my Sanctuary out back. I'll let you hold on to one. The Sanctuary is out the door at the back left of this room. And there we are. We have, you know, this new area. I guess this is a... Yeah, okay. So pretty cool. B is to... Oh, X is to run. Like it is in the usual... Like B is in the usual games. Bookshelves and stuff. Let's not go upstairs quite yet. Let's go get our first Pokemon, or, or our Pokemon, I guess. Clock. The clock reads 526, and that's right. Well done, clock. So this thing is just amazing. It's really cool. Um, I hear an advert playing. I'm going to stop it. Okay, I think the advert's stopped now. I can't see. I can't move around on the web because you're playing this on a DeviantArt page, so I can't move around, otherwise I'll lose the position of the game. Anyway, let's have a look around this forest. Oh, a Chinchu. Chinchu, the angler Pokemon. Type, water electric. Let's not take Chinchu for the moment. Let's see what else there is. Okay, this is obviously a sort of pool thing. Obviously, that's the sea. Makes sense. Rock. Nothing on the rock. It's not a usual game. Oh, Darumaka. And the advert's playing again. Fuck! Okay, and I'm back. Hopefully, the adverts won't get in the way again, because they do get quite annoying. Um, yeah. So, the Darumaka's a sort of runaway. So, <laughs> it's screw Darumaka. What else we got? Um, da, 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 obviously we're controlling using the arrow keys. So, oh, Cacnea! 
Cacnea. Now, um, big shout out, I forgot to mention earlier, to uh, Unlawful Exile, who actually sort of showed me this game. Uh, he uploaded a video on it two days ago, I think, two, three days ago. Um, and sort of showed it to me before he actually uploaded it. I thought, pretty cool. Um, I told him I was going to upload some videos, so he was fine with that. Just, just, you know, it's his discovery, I guess. So, adverts, are you going to play? Wait a second. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll have to do it every five sec. My phone's just gone off as well. Hopefully, I won't have to do it every five seconds. Like, you know, turn the adverts, adverts off. Um, so, yeah, I know, I know Liam or Unlawful chose Cacnea, so I'm thinking I'm going to choose Chinchu. Yeah. Come on, Chinchu, let's do this. Where are you at? I want to examine you. The Angler Pokemon. Yes, take Jinju. Awesome little animation there where we took the Jinju, <laughs> obviously. Nickname we shall. What should we call it? I'm going to call it Anglar. See, because I'm not in an egglock, <laughs> I have to do my own freaking names, which is terrible, so that's why I do egglocks. <laughs> anyway, let's go back and talk to this guy here. Ah, you picked Jinju. Somehow I knew you would pick that. Two new trainers are supposed to be coming to pick their starter Pokemon, so I can't let you have, have the other Pokemon in the Sanctuary. But they appear to be running a little late. Oh well, hey, I bet you're itching to get back into action. How about a small battle to warm up? Outside, of course. This room is already messy enough. Pokemon Professor Ebony would like to battle. Cleef Fairy was sent out. Okay, so we have an awesome menu here, guys. We have a sort of scroll up and down. We can fight, we can concede, which means just lose the battle. Pokemon and techniques. Interesting. Let's see. Pokemon. Summary for Angler. Here we are. So there are new, some new, there's new stuff around here. Attack, defense, and speed, and that's all the usual stuff. And learned ability is none, because you can teach it abilities, and its innate ability is sort of its hidden ability. Well, yeah, hidden ability that can activate after a certain amount of time, I think. Uh, its special attack rises when it's in battle for three consecutive turns. So, you know, if we keep Chinchu in for a while, it'll, the special attack will rise. It's pretty cool. It knows tackle, it knows encourage as well. Now, uh, I know this game has a lot, a lot of emphasis on... Uh, they're all, all the battles are double battles if you have two Pokemon. And there's like, a lot of emphasis on working together. So this one, encourage, boosts the allies' spirits to raise attack and defense. And it always goes first. So, you know, one of them can use a, you know, this and then power out the other one, pretty much. And you see it's... A, it's a, it's got 40 PP, but it's a one-shot move. And then what that means is you can only use it once per battle, depending on you know, it. doesn't matter how much PP you have, you can only use it once per battle. Also known as salt water, which is a water type attack. Semi-solids packets of salty water are flung at the foe. Used twice in the row to lower the foe's speed. Interesting. Okay. I guess we can go back. And back. Uh, what are techniques? Do nothing for a turn. Use item. Switch place with the ally. Okay, that's cool. So it's just sort of other stuff you do, maybe with the mad bang anyway. Okay, so yeah, concede as well we can do, but we're gonna fight. No point in using encourage because there's no foe, so <laughs> uh, salt water or tackle. Let's go for salt water. It does get a bit you know, it does get a bit confusing doing this, but okay. And we will attack that one. Salt water. Nice animation really. It's yeah, it's really not bad in animation, so. What? How is it super effective? What? I guess we try and use tackle then. <laughs> Come on, angler. Okay, not not too great. Circle seal is going to raise a special defense, so we definitely want to use tackle now because I think salt water is a special move. Didn't say. So tackle it is. Hopefully we take it out. Just about took it out. Wow. It did like over half damage. What is going on? Wow, wow, wow. Bravo. You still got it, Integral. Now, I know you're eager to stop Meloetta and get your old team back, but having just one Pokemon isn't going to cut it. Head east of this town, you better find some find, <laughs> find some wild Pokemon there. But first, I want you to have this. Integral acquired the Warp Rope. Interesting. The Warp Rope is a key item to have. In the unlikely event you get stuck, use it to instantly teleport back here. Although it has an tendency to fail in opportune moments. Right now, you may want to heal your Pokemon. There's a Pokemon Center nearby you can use. You might also want to stock up on recovery items and Pokeballs before you go. Those can be found at the Pokemon Center as well. Good luck. Now, I'm not quite sure what the warp, menu, uh, warp thing does. There's Pokedex. There's a Pokedex. Ooh, I love this Pokedex, man. How can I um, go up and down? No. Um, WSD? No. Enter? No, it's not going to work. Uh, I don't know how to move up and down. How do I move up and down? No. No, that's not going to work. I don't know if there's any way to move up and down or not. Um, 
Uh, oh, there we are. Okay, I was pressing the wrong way. You, you see, I'm expected to press down to go down the list, but you actually press up to move the list up. Anyway, there is Chinchu, the angler Pokemon. A nice base stat thing there as well. But it is glow. It goes up near the surface to harness the energy from the photosynthetic region of the ocean, and then sinks back into the depths of the ocean where it can use its angler to illuminate darkness and shock prey. Nice. Height and mass is there. See, I love has mass instead of weight. Makes much more sense. Anyway, let's look in the bag. Uh, okay, stuff. AMs. And yes, the uh, learned ability there. Can we save? I don't, I don't know if that actually works or not, because it's a flash game. But it's a possibility it does. Options, menu button visible. Yeah, let's put you on. Action button visible. No idea. <laughs> Default movement. Yeah, we're walking. Hide mouse cursor. Uh, who knows? Mute music, no. Mute sound effects, no. Movement controls, arrow keys. Invert scrolling, no. Okay. There's the menu. Okay, there's the menu. Yes, that's fine. Let's check out upstairs. I didn't look at that, did I? Oh, there's a Pokeball there. And it's Mr. Ebony's bed. <laughs> Oops, we're stuck here now. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, friend! Found four Pokeballs and two potions. Nice one, nice uh, update for us. The clock now is 5.36. Awesome. There we are. Ebony Lab. Still to this guy here. Hello, bro. It's hard to believe that that lab's only been there a few months. I hope the professor's making good use of it. So, Professor e Ebony's obviously very new. I'm a little nervous about getting my own Pokemon. What if it doesn't like me? I'm guessing he's one of the new ones, the new trainers that's supposed to be going there. Oh, I guess it's the beach I was washed up on. Why, hello there! I haven't seen you around these parts. Are you new to the Goodell region? In that case, welcome. What takes you to Goodell? Introduce yourself. You're the Pokemon champion of your home, home region, huh? Congratulations! Forgive me not for not recognising you. I don't keep up much with foreign affairs. None of us do, really. They have relatively simple lives, and most Goodell citizens rarely concern those from other regions. In case you're wondering, Goodell does not have any Pokemon League of any sort. There aren't gyms to challenge like in other regions. That doesn't mean Pokemon trainers aren't plentiful here, though. In fact, many strong trainers come to Goodell to relax, raise a family, or possibly even retire from battling altogether. That's probably why yeah, you're here, correct? To relax a bit after becoming champion? Or is there another reason for you, you coming to Goodell? Hmm, you didn't seem to want to talk about it. That's alright. In any case, enjoy your stay here in Goodell. Very long person, very long conversation there with that person. An essence. Ooh. What the hell's an essence? Options? No, not options. Bag, that's what I want. Doesn't work in certain areas, interesting. Recovers a Pokemon from Brink Mode and restores half the health points can only be used during battle. Now, I think Brink Mode is, like, where you can say, okay, my Pokemon can be, like, if, if, if a Pokemon faints, I think it is, you can restore it, but if they then faint again, they die. They die! I know, very risky then. Let's check out these houses, shall we? How is it that you've, we? Uh, how is it that we haven't come up with a way to truly meet up with other people from around the world? And why can't Pokeball cables catch fainted Pokemon? Technology blows, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. It's a parody of the usual guy that stands in the first village, talking about technology. News anchor. We're happy to report that the Meloetta citizens, 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 uh, sisters are still missing. About one week after their anticipated, arri an an anticipated arrival date. For those not in the know, the Meloetta sisters are a small band of Meloettes that travel around the globe, spreading happiness with their singing and dance routines. Their semi-annual semi appearance in Grudel was expected a week ago, but there's still been no sign of the legendary group. Many citizens are still, are still have hope <laughs> for their arrival, however, and so the sisters are simply running late or on a different schedule. The disappearance has been unfortunate for everyone, and we can only hope their joy will be spread once again in due time. That's it for the news. That's enough for now. Okay, so I guess the Meloetta sisters something happened there. Maybe one of the Meloetta, one of the Meloettas went rogue or something. Interesting. Hello, you. How are you doing? I hear that Pokémon can learn a new, a new ability to go along with that. Go along with that innate ability. Yep, that's what we're talking about. The learned ability. Learned abilities can be very useful in battle. Why don't you take this? Integral received AM Citrus Cash. This neat ability lets Pokemon regain a little health when it's running low. This can only be happen once per battle, though. Best of all, any Pokemon can learn it. I think so, anyway. Teach Citrus Cash to your Pokemon to make battles a little easier. Interesting, let's check this out. TMs, AMs. Okay, I guess we can teach it to Angler. Because it doesn't have ability anyway, so... <laughs> nice one, so it, I guess when its health gets low in battle, it will activate the Citrus Cash and basically a Citrus Berry. Nothing there. Hello, friend. I love the outdoors in Gdell, there aren't any bugs at all. 
Is that sarcasm or what? It's locked. Oh, interesting. Is this just... Or, yeah, I don't know. This town is so boring. Once I get Pokemon, I'm so out of here. I, I feel you. There are wild Pokemon in the tall grass. Make sure you have Pokemon to protect you. I will try. Interesting Pokemon Center. Let's heal up first. Yes, please. Oh, nice uh, healing animation there. Okay, let's see what's on TV here. Zangoose. Nothing can spread our bond, boundless love for each other. Let us run from this wretched place and start a new life together. Surviper. I love you too, but what will our species think? It just wasn't meant to be. I don't care what anyone else thinks. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You can poison swipe me right now, and I still wouldn't hurt as much as the thought, and it still wouldn't hurt as much as the thought of leaving you. Okay, let's do it. Let's start a new life together somewhere free from the shackles of society. To be continued. That's enough for now. <laughs> So, Romeo and Juliet with Survivor and Zangus, maybe? <laughs> Have you ever heard of one-shot moves? The term denotes moves that can only be used once per battle, even if it has more than one PP. On the other hand, one-shot moves can be quite powerful. Once you strike with a one-shot move, that's up to you to, to decide. As I mentioned already, the one-shot move there is Encourage. Recovery items are good to have, but using them in battle just feels like cheating. Don't you agree? Yeah, can do sometimes, I'm not sure though. Oh, there's a, a squid sanctuary instead of a box, interesting. And it's a huge box, wow. I guess, yeah. <laughs> nice one. Hello you, let's buy some stuff. Hello, what can I do for you today? Let's buy some Pokeballs. We got four in a bag, so I'll get one more. Potion. Uh, Tim the bag, get three more here. Uh, TM Scenery, attacks with a mysterious hexagonal beam. Let's buy it, bu uh, okay, I bought it already. <laughs> let's see what that does, or if we can teach it to anyone. Ah, oh, Angler cannot learn Scenery, damn it. We'll have to try and find one we can actually teach it to soon. Uh, stimulation, cures Pokemon being slowed. Now, I think that's like a new kind of status ailment in this game. I would guess, I'm not sure. <laughs> we have to find out. New route, oh. Okay, what's it? Hi, Andrew, well, it's Ebony. I'm messaging you for that techie eyepiece thing you have. It's on the character model, don't worry. It's pretty cool, by the way. I figured that I should let you know I'm 100% behind, behind, I'm behind you, 100% on your quest, and I'll help any way I can from my lab. Admittedly, not much, <laughs> but I can give advice. Believe in yourself. Make sure you have enough pokeballs and potions, and be wary of affecting traders. We have no idea what they're capable of. And that's all I have to say for now. Ebony out. Awesome. Let's catch Pokemon here. What is it? It's a combi. A wild combi appeared. Okay, anger. We're gonna fight, and we're gonna use salt water. Bug agility is not very effective. Good, good. Salt water. Oh, nice damage there. Let's go for a pokeball. See, Pokeballs are now a new menu here, and let's do it! Throw a Pokeball at Combi. Damn it! Escape right away! What a noob. Okay, let's go and fight this time then. And we use Tackle. Hopefully we won't kill it. No, we didn't. Okay, cool. Let's okay, we use Fly. Focus Combi, gonna be hit by grounded attacks. Let's go and use Tackle. Okay, we use Fly. Focus Combi, gonna be hit by grounded attacks. Let's go and use Pokeball. For a Pokeball Combi. Come on, we got this. One. Two. Three. Yeah, we caught it. Combi was caught. Nice one. We did it. Angler received 257 experience points. So it's like Generation 6 where you can teach that. It's a female Combi, which means it's going to be a queen, so we should put, we should name it the Queen. It's a very inventive name, I know, but let's run back and heal up quickly. And I think we're going to teach Citrus Cash the ability to uh, the Queen too, because that might be helpful. I don't know what level we actually get to overall. But yeah, um, we might, might be might be able to get a Vesper kind in the end. Um, there, oh, there we are. There, there we are. It's always helpful, you know. This doesn't know anything at all. So let's check out. Yeah, let's actually check out Kirby. Pokemon summary: Learned ability Citrus Cash. Innate ability is Nectar Feed. Raises health points each turn if an ally recently used Pollinate. No idea what that move is, but okay. The foe is covered in sap, giving it the, the slow ailment. This effect lasts the entire battle, so there's a new ailment there. So I guess it just reduced their speed, I'm not sure. Bug agility. The user rapidly flies around the foe's head, dealing damage. This move always goes first. Nice one. Fly is obviously fly, so... <laughs> okay, uh, okay, so fly is actually different. Let me just check that again. The Pokemon floats to avoid grounded attacks. Use the grounded attack to come down. So instead of actually attacking, so there's no power on it, you just fly up, and then you can use bug agility to come down. So it's sort of like a, a, a protect, I guess, for the turn. As long as you're, you know, faster. Let's battle this guy, and we end the episode after this.
Hey, a trainer! Alright, Poochiana, let's show him what we're made of. Youngster Jerry, instead of Youngster Joey, interesting. Okay, and it's, as I said, mentioned earlier, they're all double battles in this game, so... Very good. Uh, let's use... Should we use Encourage? We'll use Encourage. Fight, and we're going to use Bug Agility. Go, do it! Ah, uh, the cute little Encourage. Attack Rose, Defense Rose, nice one. Bug Agility. Ooh, nice one. Tackle, that's cool. Can't use Encourage again, obviously. So Salt Water on the Poochiena, and the Queen can use Fly as well. And that's Poochiena almost gone, and Salt Water. You're gone, Poochiena! We owned you. A bit OP because we have two of them, but oh well. <laughs> oh, a nice level up screen there. I like that a lot. River Vault. Okay, I like that sound of that, that, um, that attack. Victory! Oh, I'm lost. I sure win once I catch another Pokemon, though. Integral received 250 yen. Let's check it, shall we? Summary. River Vault. A stream of electrified water flows into the foe. Interesting! Interesting indeed. Wow. Attack 50 as well. Okay, cool. It's cool, cool. Doesn't... Yeah, wait. Oh, all the little icons at the bottom. The, like, that's a physical attack, physical attack. S no. Yeah. Physical, physical, special, special. Uh, how, yeah. Contact or not. Wow. Um, grounded. Grounded in the, in the air. Grounded, grounded in the air. And then who, that's who it can be used on. Wow, I love that a lot. Look at the little rectangles at the bottom. I love this fucking game. Oh my god. I can't wait for the full version to come out. Uh, you go, yeah. As I mentioned, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. But as I mentioned, link will be in the description to play this game. Go and check it out. It's awesome. Um, yeah. And also, I'll leave the things, the links for the subreddit, subreddit for the game as well, and also the Poker Community page, so if you're a member of either of those, you can always hit that page up as well, tell them Integral sent you, because that would be awesome, um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I'll see you in a few days time for some more Pokemon Everlast, goodbye friends!